This is uh, example number 15 from the chapter Continuity and Differentiability. In this question, we have to find all the points of discontinuity of the greatest integer function, and uh, which is given by fx is equal to box x, where x denotes the greatest integer fun function. Right Now, what we need to figure out that the point of discontinuity, and we'll begin with LHL. And for that, I have considered an integral integer, say c b an integer. Now we'll apply left hand limit. So we'll be writing limit h tends to zero f is going to be the function is box x. Let's say I'm going to replace this x with c because I have taken c as an integer and it is left hand limit. So I'll be writing c minus h. So ignore why I have written C minus H, H. Now, if I plug in this uh, value in the function, which is uh, box X, and it's going to be C minus H. Now, if I say that there is an integer, for example, if I say, uh, say three being an integer, and from which if I remove a small value, say negligible or tending towards zero, we are going to get a value which is uh, slightly more than three. And we know that the greatest integer for this is going to be two and not three. That means whatever is the integer, it will be one less than that. So we can say that here it is C minus H and its greatest integer value will be one less than C, that is C minus one. Like if I uh, plug in C as three, we are getting its greatest integer as two. So therefore, we got the LHL. Now we'll continue to do this and we'll find the right-hand limit. For LHL, we are going to take limit h tends to 0. f. This time it is going to be c plus h. Now, if I once again plug in the value of this in the function, it's going to be box c plus h. Now, here too, we can take the same example. Let's say I took 3 and on 3, if I add a very small value, right, or approximately zero, then we are getting 3.0000 something. And whose greatest integer function is three only? That means if I take C plus H, a C being an integer, that means instead of C3, it is C, then it is going to be C only, right? So we'll find that here this LHL is this and RHL is this. So clearly we see that LHL is not equal to RHL is not equal to RHL. So therefore, we'll say that this function is discontinuous. We'll say that this function fx is discontinuous. Continuous at all, integ all integral values, or you may write at all integers. But it will be continuous, but continuous at non-integer, right? Non-integral values. This is what we have to find out in this question.